Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and in this tutorial I want to talk to you about add-ins for Microsoft Outlook. If you look up on the Home tab over to the right, you'll see something called add-ins. And I'm going to click on that. Add-ins are tools that you can add to software, such as Microsoft Outlook. And you can look at this for also for Excel and, and all the 365 or you know PowerPoint, Outlook, Excel, Word. You can look for add-ins. So this is an area that I, I feel goes unnoticed. And there's different ways you can use this. And what I would suggest is that you Google what are good add-ins for Microsoft Outlook. And actually, I did that. I went down below and I looked for an article and I found one that shows us a little bit about add-ins for Microsoft Outlook. The first one they recommend Grammarly. I actually couldn't find it. I had a hard time locating it. But as I went through this list, I started looking and see Zoom is one of them. Um, there's different tools here. And there was one that's sort of, I found interesting. It was called Boomerang right here. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to add Boomerang. Now, before you add these things, you might want to take a look at them online and go do some research on them just to learn how they work. But this one I found sort of interesting. So I'm going to go back down to Microsoft Outlook. And after having, again, clicked on Get Add-ins over here, this box popped up. I'm going to type in Boomerang. And I'm going to do a search for this. And there it is right here. And all you have to do to add this is click on Add. Now I know from doing a little bit of research that this tool has some different options. Although it's free, they have some paid options. But I'm going to click on Continue. And now it's adding it to my account. So at this point, I'm going to close this down. And now what I want you to observe is over here on the right-hand side, it says Boomerang. I'm going to go up and go New Email, and over here on the right-hand side, you see Boomerang. Now, I haven't used this yet. I'll be quite honest. I found it. I was looking for some things based on this tutorial, and I found this sort of interesting. One of the things I found interesting is that I could suggest times that we can work together if I want to schedule a meeting. Now, I haven't even logged in yet, so this is very preliminary, but all I want to illustrate to you is this. There are tools that you can get that make Outlook better. There's one that I'll do a separate tutorial called Shared Email Templates that I use and I love. I think it's the best tool for anyone that's in business. So I'll do a separate tutorial on that one just so you can see how that works. That's something I've been using for years and I highly recommend. Ladies and gentlemen, all I want to do with this tutorial is expose you to some of the things that are available to you as a Microsoft Outlook user, and I hope you find this helpful. Thank you so very much. You have a great day. Bye now.